Well, I've been directing a piece called Bread and Roses, written by Ian Kershaw. It's a brand new play with music. It's based on a very famous industrial strike which happened in 1912 in Massachusetts. They basically just wanted their, ba their basic rights, which was food, just to feed themselves and eat. And why, why not have the luxuries of life, which is have bread on the table, but also roses, which is not just getting by, why can't we enjoy our lives? It's about community coming together. There's, there's so many elements of the story. There's, there's love in there, there's you know, compassion, there's, there's a lot of strength, there's a lot of heart in the story, and it's a real story of hope, and it's based on a true story as well, which is amazing. An incredible story that up until this point hasn't really been told, and, and also it's incredibly relevant to today. It's about people. It's about people from 1912, mill workers that are really seizing back their power from the mill owners. But actually it's about us. It's a very clever play. I don't think you can walk into this theatre, engage with this play and not see its relevance. Sadly enough, the issues that we're raising in this are still things that need to be talked about today. Hopefully the audience will um, really feel the struggle of these characters. I mean, it's about real, real, proper, proper poverty, but how you, um, how you exist in like that and how you, you perk yourself up, and a lot of it was through the music, and so that's what the music's there for. the storytelling of music which I love and that's why I, a play like this is perfect because it's a play with music. With this piece the music tells the story and adds to the story and the characters and what they're going through. I find that music hits you somewhere that sometimes text just can't. You can expect to laugh, you can expect to cry definitely. Um, there has been a lot of uh, wet eyes in the rehearsal room. I think there's something in Bread and Roses for everybody. There's a the music, there's heart, there's a really lovely story. There are some points where you just like, we want the audience to be shouting out and to be like, to feel motivated and to feel like they're a part of some protest and to feel the injustice of what's happening on stage. You can expect, yeah, truth. Ian's written some things for us to hear. And I'm hoping that, just like I've seen before at Olden Coliseum, people sit a while and talk with each other once they've seen it. Oh.